chose this is the IBST 5000. So basically what this machine does, it identifies bacterial organisms within a given sample. Before the products are put into this mass spectrometer machine to be analyzed, there are two steps that first precede it. The first step is to extract nucleic acids from the DNA. After that occurs, it goes through a process called PCR amplification. PCR is a polymerase chain reaction, which basically means it makes more DNA. After that process is completed, the PCR product is put into this machine to be analyzed. In column one, the samples are placed, and the samples have just been removed from the PCR process. In column two, magnetic beads are present. This will help on later on with the dissolving process. And in sample three, standard is placed. Section takes care of cleaning out the sample. So basically, the dissolving process is to remove impurities from the given sample. So what happens in this process is the tray is brought from the columns to the vibrator, which is this. <laughs> At that point, the sample is shaken up and inside the sample are magnetic beads. What the magnetic beads do, or are there for, is so the DNA joins it, basically sticking to the magnetic beads. Then a reagent is added to compete with the DNA for the place on the magnetic beads. So basically the DNA is then floating around and is clean. After the product goes through the desalting process, it comes to this part of the machine where it goes through a process of it being electrically sprayed. This part of the machine begins the analysis where it measures the precise weights of the nucleic acids A, C, T, and G. This can properly identify which bacterial organisms are present in the sample because each organism has a unique base composition. This organism is then matched up in a database which contains known organisms where we can properly identify the exact identity of the bacteria. Usually, when sick people go to the hospital to take their blood sample to determine which bacteria inhabit their body, the process takes three days, and that is too long. The doctors only give them a generic antibiotic, which doesn't properly fight the infection because they don't know what is in your body. But with this machine, the beauty of it is that not only will it precisely state what bacteria you have, but it also takes shorter. It takes only about eight hours to tell you the results of what bacteria is has attacked your body. So that way, doctors can treat you quicker and more correctly because they know the exact bacteria you have. Yes. Um, this machine is currently trying to be approved by the FDA so that every doctor can have one in their office. Hospital. Yes. <laughs> this will revolutionize medical the world. world. <laughs> Thank you.